Hey, welcome back to another episode of The Row. My name is David. This is Jamie. Hey, guys. Well, Jamie, today, I know you're really confused right now. I'm so confused. <laughs> so she's like, what are you doing? And I'm like sitting here doing all this chemistry stuff. Well, today we're trying to figure out the best way to drink whiskey. Okay. So what we did was we took three of our favorites. Why don't you grab some bottles? So we have our Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof rye pick that we did that is tremendous. We love it. Uh, but it could be any Jack Daniels barrel proof bourbon or rye. It doesn't really matter. Then we have an Old Forester 1910, which is a favorite of somebody's. I don't know who that would be. Don't have a clue. And then we have a Wild Turkey Rare Breed. So all three of these bottles, 55, 55, 60, and 65. So right in that 50, $60 range. But I prepared them each in three different ways. So we have the Jack Daniels in the front row, three different preparations. Then we have the 1910, and then we have the Wild Turkey. What did I do to prepare them? Well, this row, or column, I guess, if you're looking at it this way, these are all neat. Okay. So it's cold down here in the speakeasy, so the room temperature down here is right around 60 degrees right now, if not a little chillier, based on how much you're shivering. Mm -hmm. But these are all neat. All three of these were prepared over ice. So what I did is I took a Glen, I filled it with ice. I then took a measuring uh, jigger, and I put one ounce into the ice, swirled it around for five seconds, and then drained it back into the jigger up to one ounce, and then I poured it in. All three got the same amount, five seconds, back in the jigger, into the glass. And they've all been sitting here since then to come to room temperature. And then I had this, which is just a glen of ice water. Then I took another jigger of each, and I filled it almost to the top, to the same spot. And then I added a little bit of water to get it to the top, and then I added it to this. So the question is, is it better neat with ice or with a little bit of water. Do you have any guesses what you're think what you what you think about this? So about two years with water was something that uh, really helped me, especially with like the higher proofs. Uh, you know, slightly probably right around the same time, ice would have been something really good to put in just to kind of have that cooler taste. Yeah. By far, right now, I am a neat drinker. So I am normally a neat drinker, 100%. too. But I think it's going to be interesting of whether we like... The real question is, do we like the ice better or the ice water better? Um, we'll, we'll find out. There's somebody who um, taught me that actually putting liquor on ice is bad. And his, his, his idea was that the ice itself actually causes a lot of the fatty... Um, uh, the congeners and stuff in the whiskey actually ends up... Uh, clinging to the ice. And huh. so when you pour it, you know, when you drink it, some of the good stuff is actually stuck to the ice while you're left with stuff that's not as good. So the fatty. Interesting. So the idea is if you add water, even if it's ice cold to it, instead of putting it over ice, you don't have that same effect. And every time he and I did the experiment, this ended up actually working better than this. So I want to see if it holds for you or if it was just me in the psychosis of the moment. Uh, but let, yeah, let's get these all out of the way. We're going to just blind it. We'll probably be able to tell which is which as far as like what brand, mm -hmm. but I don't know if we'll be able to tell beyond that. So anyway, let's mix it up and see what happens. Okay. Like I'm just mixing them all up like crazy? Yeah, just mix, mix them up like crazy and put them in a row, Jamie. <laughs> actually, let me mix them up first and then you mix okay. them up because you kind of, you might have figured out my methodology. All right. Okay, I've mixed them up sufficient. Now you mix them up. Okay. All right. Now, the reason we're doing it across three different whiskeys and not just one or one brand or whatever is because I want to see if there's differences. And it also allows us to test it three different times, right? Because if we consistently see neat is the best, then water, then ice across all three, perfect. Now, if it's all over the place, then we just suck. And it's, it's you know, w w the whole experiment failed and we'll just probably delete this video. So let's, let's see what happens. All right, we're keeping description super, super brief. Smells good on the nose. Wow, that's, that's wild. That's actually really good and I can't even tell which one it is. Rare breed? No, it's the Jack Daniels. Wow. 100% sure it's the Jack Daniels. Something happened to it. It's so good, but it's like. But I, yeah, I don't know that this is the neat one. Ooh. I think this is 1910. Yeah, I'm not going to disagree with you on that. I think it's a watered down 1910. Yeah, it does taste like it's a little less, 
-hmm. It's nice and sweet, though. Can we put them together when we actually call them out? Sure. Yeah. Once we once we know once we have guesses, let's put them side by side and then go between the three. It smells like a wild turkey to me. Yeah. How did we do that? Oh no! This is the this is our pick. This is the Jack Daniels pick with something in it. It's altered. It's watered down. Okay. Oh, so that is so good. Let's put it so together. Put it together, and then we'll. Uh, this is nineteen ten. So yep. Okay. Once we have them paired, then we'll actually go back between just the three. Ooh, that had a really good mouthfeel on that last one, though. This is definitely wild turkey. I get, I, it's got a little bit of peanut, too. Mm-hmm. Caramel peanut, like a, that yeah. might be the regular, I don't know. Because it's, it's very, uh, I get some texturing. proof on there, yeah. I, I that might so. be the full, the full-bodied neat one. That might be the Jack Daniels again. Really? That's really good. Are you sure? That might be my 1910. No, that's the Jack Daniels. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we got the three of those. Yeah. That's that's pretty good. Mm. Yeah, to, I don't know. I'm getting now. I'm getting a little proof. It's it's really hard to know how much you know that swirl with the ice. How much that dilutes it that fast? It's only five seconds worth, and then it directly poured it out. That's a wild turkey, maybe with ice or water, which are something. Oh, that's nice and buttery. Oh, it is. I still get those peanuts though, but yeah, I get the peanuts, but it's like a nice buttery. It's it's a little less proofy. Well, I don't know. I'm getting some proof burn on that one. We'll see. This is really hard. This is really hard, which it it's kind of a good experiment though, because it kind of shows if you water down, you still will get some flavors that you really like about the neat pour. Yeah, so. yeah. It might just be a little less hot or a little, you know. Little basic sometimes if you overwater it. Oh yeah, that's my nineteen ten. That honestly kind of tastes like nineteen twenty four right now. Actually, kind of does. That's good. <laughs> that is amazing. That's good. That one's way watered down. I think it might. Is it the wild turkey or the nineteen ten? That's the nineteen ten. That's really good. It's though. very watery though. Uh, but it's almost like a care. It's like a smooth caramel candy bar. I think it thins it mm. up a little bit. Too. I think it does. Probably does. But I like it. That's actually really we, good. We don't need to use water in 1910. You don't need to, but it might help it. True. Maybe the, the question of the videos, which is the right way to proof it down. Mm. Maybe that's a better video title, Jamie. I. That's definitely wild turkey, but I don't, I can't tell if it's the cold one, the iced. The thing is, I didn't get much temperature difference. Mm-hmm. So even the ones that had the ice water added or the ice swirl, yeah. the temperature is really not much different now. So these were definitely the wild turkeys. Yes. So let's pair, pair those. We'll pair these and then pair the Jack Daniels. So we'll go back and forth now between them. And then we'll rank each set as whether or not we like which one we like from each set. Right. All right. So we went back and forth between them. And we we the way we lined them up is Jamie, we just had Jamie line hers up first, second, third, first, second, third. And then I went through and put my rankings after that so yes. we could keep track of it. So Jamie, let's look at the Jack Daniels first. So this was your first place one. I actually thought it was my third place one. Wow. So let's see what it is. Ice. Ice. That's the iced one. What was this one? That was your second place, my first place. Water. So I liked it with a little water. Okay, so the first place was our original for you. That was my that was my second place. Oh, okay. Yeah. So first place was was with was water. with water. Oh. And neither one of us picked the neat pour. Hmm. And I think the reason is that's a hundred and thirty five point yes. five proof neat. It's a little hot, so adding a little bit of water, even if it's iced. Mm hmm. Help soften it a little bit. Soften it, pull out the really good flavors of the whiskey. That was your first place. This was my uh, second place. No, nothing. That was the neat. Old Forester does it right. That was my second place. Okay, and that was your first place. Huh. Oh. I guess somebody needs a little. That 1910, <laughs> 93 proofs is coming in hot. It's coming in hot. I need a little water to make that a little more palatable. It's just too hot for my palate. Okay, my second was... That was my third place. 
Ice. Okay, that was my so third place. I'm starting to kind of feel like a trend for me is if I don't like it neat, then ice is the way to go for me. I yeah yeah, like and then I this, like it cold. This was my first place, and it was the water again. Huh. So that's interesting. How so I'm yeah, like. I'm consistently liking the water better, but you're consistently liking the ice, ice better. better. Andrew, let's go to the third one now because we'll okay, see if there's a we'll trend. see if there's a trend. Um, this was your first place; it was my second place, and that's the water. <laughs> You're all over the place, Jamie. Well, so let me tell you guys: uh, wild turkey with water, delicious. <laughs> my so, second place. I think with the wild turkey, though, I was in my head a little bit because I don't love wild turkey as much as I love those other two. Yeah. You know, so if you're going to take me on a day that maybe we don't have these other two like pours that I especially love and I, I enjoy rare breed, don't get me wrong, yeah. but I feel like at this point I was kind of like just shooting straws over here because you didn't I don't, care anymore. I, I didn't really, no. it didn't matter to me. It was like this half of the table mattered to Jamie and this or this third of the table mattered to him, this third of the table, she could have cared less. So my well, Jamie's first place, my second place, <laughs> my first place, and Jamie's second place is the neat pour. Okay. <laughs> and then my third place and Jamie's third place was ice. Huh. So I guess amongst the group, there might not be any... Hmm. Do you want to switch them around and see if I can and put them in the same place? Because honestly, again, I wasn't... By that point, I was just like making okay. decisions. Okay, all right. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay. Do this experiment. Okay, try this one first. Okay. And then this one second and tell me which which do you like better. This, this one over here is the neat one. So she's got the ice and the water one over there. So we're going to see... We're going to see what she prefers. I like that one. That one better? That's the ice one. Okay, that's probably... Okay, so... I, I guess by that point, I just got a little, like, um, it's repetitive and it's feeling a yeah. little bit, like... It's... So, pretty consistently, I like the water version better. Jamie liked the ice better. Which, so if the theory is, is that the ice traps some of the fattiness, the fatty esters and stuff, mm -hmm. maybe you don't like the fatty esters where I like them. I like my bourbon a little fatty, if you know what I mean. Anyway, uh, interesting experiment. I'm not sure we learned a whole lot, but we had some fun doing it. Yeah, well, and it also helps to kind of understand, like, maybe a female's perspective on things. Maybe if you want to get your wife, partner, etc., into whiskey, then so, try putting it on ice for her. Maybe she'll like that. And if, you know, and if it's too proofy for you, 93 proof, try some water so it... it it gets watered down for Wait. people like David. So the funny thing is, is you two out of the... Water? No, no, no. Oh. This, this was my first place, which was the neat one. Oh. So both of these, though, I like the watered version the best. All cases, I like the watered over the ice. Well, I'm shocked because I honestly, when it comes to myself drinking whiskey down, how many years, three and three plus years of drinking whiskey now... I order mine neat. So let's not, True. there's no confusion there. <laughs> yeah. She does it even though she doesn't like it better, but we just, you know, it's how it is anyway. Um, so the, the result of the video is what's the right way to drink whiskey. Ultimately what you prefer. The point here is maybe what you think you prefer. You're I wrong. And you need to try it some different ways. Cause I, again, I liked water most of the time, a little bit better than neat with a couple drops of water, which was a little surprising to me. And Jamie liked it over ice most of the time better. Anyway, Jamie, thanks for participating in our little science and experiment this, here. This was fun. Kind of a different take on yep. whiskey these days. Different way of doing it. Anyway, uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something and uh, try something new. However you love your whiskey, drink it that way. But, you know, be open to some experimentation sometime. We all love some experimentation. Anyway, if you like this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Until next time, find the bottle you love. <laughs>